Hello students. Today we are going to start our chapter first of 8th class. Chapter name is rational number. So in this chapter we are going to study about rational numbers. So before moving towards rational number, I am going to explain you what are different set of numbers which you have studied in your earlier classes. So first type of numbers which we have to study are natural number. The natural number is simply uh, is known as the counting which we are doing. Uh, natural numbers are represented by n. So we can write n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. These numbers are known as natural numbers. Now second set of numbers which we are going to study here are whole numbers. So whole numbers are the numbers which we are having when we are putting 0 before the natural number. So whole numbers are represented by W. So whole numbers equals to 0, 1, 2, test, test, test and so on. Now third type of number which we are going to study are integers. Integers are those numbers in last year you have studied about number line. So on number line we are having three type of number. This is 0 and here we are having 1, then 2, then 3, then 4 and so on. This is the right hand side of 0. Now after this left hand side of 0 we are having minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. Now we have to uh, know about the integers. So first set of integers from 1 to 4. These are the positive integers. These are the positive integers from 1 to 4 and so on. Now here from minus 1 to minus 4. These are the from minus 1 to minus 4. These are the negative integers okay and now let's talk about zero zero is neither positive neither positive nor negative integer okay now let's move on to the rational number which is our main topic of this chapter so Let's talk about rational numbers. Fourth type of numbers are rational numbers. Now we will talk about the rational numbers in detail. So rational numbers rational numbers the number which we can write in a form of p upon q a number which we can write in a form of p upon q where where p and q are integers p and q are integers so we have to say that p and q are integers and q is not equals to 0 q is not equals to 0 so let's take the examples of rational numbers example of rational numbers i will request you all to please keep one copy and pen with you so note it down along i am solving the questions i am explaining the basics here you also should write these basics in your copy p upon q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 now example of rational numbers are 2 upon 3 now you can say uh, you can see here 2 is a integer 3 is also a 
integer. Now, 5 upon 7. So you can see here, 5 is an integer, 5 is an integer, and 7 is also an integer. Now, minus 3 upon 5. Now, minus 3 is an integer, it is a negative integer, 5 is also an integer. So, minus 3 upon 5, it is also a rational number. Now, minus 3 upon minus 2. This is also an example of rational number. How it is an example of rational number? Because definition says that P and Q both should be a should be an integer. So, minus 3 is an integer, minus 2 is an integer. So, minus 3 upon 2, minus 3 upon minus 2, it is also a rational number. Okay, now if I will say uh, one more example we are taking before explaining further. Let's suppose minus 2 upon minus 9. It is also a rational number. 2 upon minus 9, it is also a rational number. We are waiting for some times. You write about this in your copy. Now we have to uh, learn about what are positive rational number and what are negative rational number. So we have to learn about what are positive rational numbers and what are negative rational numbers. So positive rational number. A rational number in which both the integers p and q are positive is known as positive rational number. So for example, 2 upon 3, it is a positive rational number. Minus 7 upon minus 9, it is also a positive rational number. How we can say it is a positive rational number? Because if we will uh, see here, minus 7 and minus 9 is written, we can cancel these both. Minus 7 and minus 9 got cancelled. So we are having only 7 upon 9. Now you see this is the positive rational number. Now uh, 3 upon 5 it is also a positive rational number. Now let's talk about negative rational number. Negative rational number. The number in which Either of the P and Q, या तो P या फिर Q, अगर दोनों में से कोई भी एक negative होता है, if any one of them is negative, then the rational number will be termed as negative rational number. For example, minus 2 upon 5. So here we are, here you can clearly see minus 2 upon 5. Here in 2 we are having minus. So this is a negative integer. So we can say minus 2 upon 5 is a negative rational number. Now minus 3 upon 7 it is also a negative rational number. 7 upon minus 11 it is also a negative rational number. Why it is a negative rational number? Because here in the 11 we are having negative sign. So it is the negative integer. So we can say that 7 upon minus 11 is a negative integer. Okay, now let's move further. Now we have to learn about standard form of rational number. What do we mean by standard form of rational number? So let's talk about that. Standard form of rational number. Let's take an example of a rational number which is coming in our mind. Let's suppose we are taking 16 upon 10. It is a rational number. Yes, clearly it is a rational number. Because 16 is a positive integer. 10 is also a positive integer. So we can say 16 upon 10 is a rational number. But now 
इज इट इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म क्या ये स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म में लिखा हुआ है सिक्सटीन अपॉन टेन नाउ वी हैव टू सी वेदर इट इज रिटर्न इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म और नॉट सी वी कैन कैंसिल इट बाई टू सो टू एट ज सिक्सटीन एंड टू फाइव ज टेन सो नाउ दिस इज एट अपॉन फाइव इट इज इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म बिकॉज इट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी कॉमन फैक्टर एट अपॉन फाइव इज नॉट हैविंग एनी कॉमन फैक्टर एनी कॉमन फैक्टर मीन्स वी आर नॉट हैविंग एनी नंबर विथ विच दीज टू नंबर कैन बी कैंसिल्ड अपने पास कोई भी ऐसा नंबर नहीं है जिसमें ये दो जिसकी टेबल में ये दोनों नंबर आते हैं ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव फर्दर सो लेट एस सपोज वी आर हैविंग वन नंबर माइनस थर्टी थ्री अपॉन फिफ्टी फाइव सो हाउ कैन वी कन्वर्ट इट इन टू स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म नाउ क्लियरली वी कैन सी हेयर थर्टी थ्री इज कमिंग इन इलेवन स्टेबल सो इलेवन थ्री इज आ थर्टी थ्री एंड फिफ्टी फाइव इज ऑल्सो कमिंग इन इलेवन स्टेबल सो इलेवन फाइव इज आ फिफ्टी फाइव सो अवर आंसर विल बी माइनस थ्री अपॉन फाइव नाउ दिस इज एन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ओके Now let's talk about different set of examples. Let's suppose you are having two upon minus three. It is in a is it in a standard form two upon minus three? So no two upon minus three is not in a standard form. So how we can make it in uh, make it in a standard form? Two upon minus three is there. So we will multiply here in the numerator by minus one. And in the denominator by minus one, so two into minus one it will become minus two, and minus three into minus uh, minus three into minus one because minus into minus it will become plus and three ones are three, so we are having minus two upon three. It is also a standard form of rational number. So simply you can compare this and this. Now see here we were having. Minus sign in the denominator, but here we are having minus sign in the numerator. Okay, now let's move further. We are having one more uh, topic here that we have to study. We have to study about equivalent rational number. Equivalent rational number. Equivalent rational numbers. Suppose we are having an example of a rational number two upon three. Two upon three we are having. So it is a rational number. Yes, clearly it is a rational number because two is an integer and three is also an integer. Both are positive integers. So two upon three is a rational number. Now let's multiply two upon three in the numerator by two and in the denominator by two. So we will get two two is a Four, three two is a six. So four upon six is an equivalent rational number of two upon three. Now let's move further. If we are taking two upon three only, and if we are multiplying in numerator by three and in denominator by three, so we will have two three is a six, three three is a nine. So six upon nine. It is also an equivalent rational number. Now let's move further. Two upon three multiply by four into four. So two four is a eight upon three four is a twelve. So it is also an equivalent rational numbers. Now we can write these numbers as like this: two upon three equals to four upon six equals to six upon nine. Equals to eight upon twelve. So these numbers are known as equivalent rational numbers. So this was the basics of this chapters before first exercise. Thank you.